An action page is a website page where your visitor is asked to take an action, like sign a petition, make a donation, or RSVP to an event. Every action page has settings that can be activated when a visitor takes action on your site. These automated settings include tools that will tag people, assign a point person, add people to paths, etc., which can make you and your team's lives easier. Setting them up will allow you to search more effectively for people, quickly view information about them, and communicate to them in a more meaningful way. In this video, we'll cover automating tags, paths, and more. Step 1. Create an action page. Create a new action page by going to Website, select your site, click Add New Page. Or you can edit an existing action page by hovering over it and clicking Edit. Action pages available include Sign Up, Blog, User Submitted Events, Donation, Endorsement, Feedback, Petition, Survey, Vote Pledge, Volunteer Sign Up, Invoice, and Money Bomb. To edit action settings, go to the page name and then the page type settings. Note that each type of action page's settings will look a little different, but the key components outlined throughout the rest of this video will always be there. Step 2. Set up auto tags. You should automatically add tags to any person who takes an action on your website. Why? Tags are virtual sticky notes added to a profile to describe a characteristic or action the person has taken. They make it easier to find specific groups of people, as well as provide for targeted and personalized communication. This may seem a little vague now, but we promise it will be insanely helpful in the future. For example, you can choose to tag each person who signs up to come to your Clean Up the Streets event with Clean the Streets 19. You can then take attendance on your event page and tag those who actually attended with Clean the Streets 19 attendee. Under Page Type Settings, type your tags into the box labeled Tag All Signups With. In this example, I'm assigning all of the people who sign up for my event with the tag Clean the Streets 19. Make sure to separate multiple tags with commas. Click Save Settings. Once this tag is set up and people have signed up online, you'll be able to see this tag directly on their profile. You can also filter for the tag and find all of the people with it. Step 3. Assign a point person. Assigning a point person when a visitor takes an action on your website is key. A point person is responsible for that visitor's relationship with your organization. For example, your volunteer coordinator would be an excellent point person for people who sign up on your volunteer page. Any control panel user can be listed as a point person. Under Page Type Settings, select one of your control panel users from the drop-down menu labeled Point Person. Click Save Settings. Note that if a visitor already has a point person, they will not be assigned a new one when they take a website action. Now, once the point person is set and people have signed up online, you'll see people's profiles with the name of the point person on them. And just as you saw for tags, you can filter by point person to see all of the people assigned to that person. Step 4. Assign Membership You can choose to automatically assign membership for an action. Since every action page can grant membership when the action is taken, both unpaid and paid memberships can be automatically added to supporters. Under Page Type, Settings, decide which membership type to assign. If the membership should never expire, do not set an expiration date. Otherwise, set an expiration date that is relative to the date the supporter takes the action. Click Save Settings. Anytime you're looking for membership information, you can find it under the Memberships tab on a person's profile. You can also filter by a variety of different details pertaining to memberships, just as you saw before. Step 5. Add a supporter to a path. It's also a good idea to add a supporter to a path. A path is a step-by-step -step workflow that describes how people taking action contribute toward achieving a larger goal. Paths allow you to build and track relationships with your supporters. Under Page Type Settings, check Add to Path and add the appropriate information for path, example become a donor, path assigned to, overall point person, step, a specific step on a path, step assigned to, different from the overall path point person, and step due date, optional. Click Save Settings. Once someone takes the action and is added to a path, the path will display on their profile and you can view how far along on that path they are. You can also filter to find people on specific paths, completed paths, abandoned paths, etc. Step 6. Where does a person go next? You can select what page a supporter lands on after they take an action on your website. This will create action change for supporters to take multiple actions in a row. This is important because it maximizes a person's engagement with your site. 
For example, when someone joins your nation, you can have them land on your events page to help encourage attendance. You could also have someone that signs a petition land on your donate page. Under page type settings, enter the slug of the page you want to have your supporters land on in the text box under after signing up, what page should they land on next? In this case, once a user submits their signup information, they'll be redirected to my events page. Click Save Settings. Taking the time to set these things up now will maximize your efficiency later when searching for people, quickly viewing information about them, and communicating to them in a more meaningful way.